Ooh, time to get that paper, man. Yeah, what up, game? What up, squad? It's your boy, Ethereum. The realest, the coolest, the truest, young king. Only two proper as we speak. Welcome back to the lit banger game. We got my dog, Larry Bird, back in the building, but we got the best Larry Bird versus LeBron story ever. So y'all know they get compared a lot as well because I believe they played the same position. You know what I'm saying? And LeBron gets, you know, compared to a lot of the goats because he's the goat of our time. You know what I'm saying? Um, even though, you know, our time is a little more easier going than the times before, he still is considered one of the greats, all right? So we're going to go ahead and react to this, man. If you're new, subscribe, like the video, comment some more bangers you want me to check out, and let's go ahead and hear this uh, amazing story. In the book titled, When the Game Was Ours, written by Larry Bird and Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan shared his 100% honest opinion about Larry Bird. He said, People ask me all the time who my top five players are. And when I start saying Larry, they interrupt. Hold on, y'all. Let me make sure my camera is still good. All right. Got to make sure that camera can see me, man. Because if it interrupt me, they say, you got to be kidding me. He can't play with LeBron James. I tell them, you guys don't get it. Larry is far better than any small forward who played the game. Now, the Bro, they just said that he couldn't play with LeBron. And Michael Jordan, the GOAT of all time, said it himself. He could play with any small forward in any history, bro. The lazy person would chalk that statement up to Michael Jordan being a LeBron hater. He's not even looking at the... I think he was, was looking, he looking at looking Michael, at, Michael Jordan. I was thinking the same thing. Michael Jordan's a little left of that Charlotte bench. I think that was a look at Michael like... I think you're right. I think that's exactly what he was looking. He was right looking. At him. Yo, this nigga, bro... If he, if that's what really happened, bro, my shit burning. If that shit really happened, bro, ain't no way in hell he could look at Jordan. Him around all day. Not only was Jordan good at playing offense, he was even better at defense. So you telling me that this nigga, this nigga LeBron could really dominate Jordan? Hell no. Yeah, he's a little bit bigger, stronger, whatever. But I feel like Jordan would have found a way to, to handle that. And not only that, he would have been scoring all day. So, who's going to score more? LeBron or Jordan? Jordan. You feel me? Come on, man. But not too long ago, this was common knowledge. If you give me both these guys and you say you can start your team with either Larry Bird or I'm looking at my chest. My baby scratched me and that shit burning. LeBron James, oh, you're taking LeBron. I'm taking Larry Bird, no, and I'm not. taking my chances. Thank no, you very not. much. You know Larry yes. Bird was the baddest son of a gun on the planet and what in a you... league with Magic Johnson, <laughs> Isaiah Thomas, oh, so Dr. J. He the... was the best player in the world when the NBA and was LeBron's at a, when a greater level. In the world. It ain't the same NBA. This, 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 this sucker oh. won three straight MVPs. Let me ask you this. With, Le with Larry Magic Bird couldn't get through him at one point. the best player in the world right now? I believe he would. Oh, he'd be better than Kevin Durant. I believe he would. Yes, I believe he would. No, he wouldn't. I'm not going to lie. These guys nowadays are a lot more athletic than Larry Bird. Larry Bird just knew the game. Now, if Larry Bird played, it would be great because it just cuts off his knowledge, bro. Just off his knowledge of the game, he would have been better. He knew where everybody was. He knew how to get to where they was going. He just that's what would have made him great. Yes, he would have been able to to to, to um he would have been able to what's it called it compete at any level. Because of his knowledge of the game. That's all, bro. That's all you need, knowledge. Knowledge and a little bit of athleticism. Greatness. Okay, Larry Bird, if, he, if, he, if his back didn't give out on him, if he didn't have surgery, if his body didn't fail him, talking about we're having a whole different conversation about Larry Legend. I'm sorry. He, he had it all. So, Crazy. Larry Bird or LeBron James. And for the record, if you ask me who... Hey, this is Stephen Curry from the Golden State Warriors. Download the new Sirius XM app and hear every game. Who I'd take over 20 years, I'd take LeBron. But if you ask me who I'd take for one season, it gets very interesting. Damn. Because I'd take a 1986 Larry Bird season over. Look at that pass. Look at that freaking pass. This is how you see greatness. Take for one season. It gets very interesting. Watch this. Because guy. I'd take a 1986 Larry Bird season over any single season performance from any player that ever lived. And if you ask me who I'd take for one game, or better yet, one shot, well, I'll let someone who actually lived through the Bird era 
tell you what they think. Mm. All I know is one game from my life. I want Larry Joe Bird taking my last shot. That guy Larry from Joe French Bird. Lick, Indiana. Game on the line, free throw, three, jump shot, whatever it was. I'll take Larry Bird any day or any night over especially LeBron James. Yeah, want- now, if you're still a Larry Legend denier, I'm about to tell you how one shot. How do you can deny the shots that he made? These off the wall shots, behind the backboard shots. How can you not see that? Even if he played against babies, yes, they were uncontested. But how many of these motherfuckers really making those shots uncontested, bro? Changed the course of history, helped rewrite the narrative of an entire generation, and almost made Larry Bird the undisputed greatest of all time. Now, time and time again, Larry Bird came up clutch in the biggest situations. Max looking, looking, loops it to Bird, a runner. It's good! It's good! And the Celtics win it! Bird hits and the Celtics win it! 103 to 101, a wow. three pointer by Larry Bird at the buzzer. Eddie Ainge to inbounds for the Celtics, trailing by one, two seconds left. In the Bird, he fires. He yes! And the Celtics win! Unbelievable! Larry Bird at the buzzer! So in the 1987 Larry NBA Bird Finals Bird. versus the Lakers, when Larry Bird and the Boston Celtics were trying to repeat as NBA champions, Celtic Nation came to expect it. And in Game 4 at the Boston Garden, with the Celtics down 2-1 to one in the series, the game came down to the wire. Boston 4, LA 2. Bird. That move! Oh my Boston. god! 5 now, and they almost tied up Harris, and they lose it. Cooper, it's a 3-on-3 three three break. Cooper... With a three, Rick, and hits it with a minute and a half to go. A long time ago, Kareem does it, and the Lakers jumping for joy, and they lead it 104. Kareem, and another timeout called by Casey Jones. And coming Man. out of a timeout, Larry Bird, as confident as ever, Man. tells his defender James Worthy exactly what he's gonna do to him Bro. he'll come out of a timeout i remember this one time you might have heard this before because he did it with a lot of people i had to guard him <laughs> he said he did it with a lot of people you know the play is coming but he would tell you it's coming <clears throat> with dj handling mikhail's going to set up a pick for for robert that's only to free him up to come and set a pick for me and he says <laughs> if you trail i'm going to trail into the lane to a little floater he said if you try to get over the top he said i'm gonna pop to that corner and bust a jumper on your fucking face. <laughs> like, fuck you. I'm, I'm all up Yo! on it. You know, I got his Yo! shirt tail. I'm holding it. You know, I'm like, you. You, know, you know where I'm from. I'm from Gastonia. Man. He ain't talking. He ain't on. Sure enough, man. He, the ball he comes holding. in. He's <laughs> holding. I'm quick. I'm quick enough. I think I can get over the top. I, I, I get over the top. I get out there, but he pops to the corner. I'm running. Yeah! He kind of waits. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. He's an asshole. Bird goes for three. Yeah. Yo, why am I watching this like this just happened, bro? This happened literally almost 40 years ago, bro. 37, 38 years ago. This and I'm watching this almost 38. My bad, 38. I'm watching this like this just happened, bro. No, that's why I'm losing my shit right now. That's but the Celtics crazy. up by two. Kareem comes down and gets fouled with eight seconds left. He makes the first. And misses the second. Uh-oh. And it's Lakers ball with seven seconds to go. Damn. One Celtic rebound could have sealed this game. But the ball goes out of bounds and the Lakers get the possession. And with seven seconds to go... The Lakers still had life. Mm. Just three years earlier, in the 1984 Finals versus the Celtics, Magic Johnson choked in a similar situation, earning the nickname Tragic Johnson. But this time, he was ready. 
my man switched to Kareem and Kevin McHale jumped out to me. And as soon as I saw Kevin, I said, oh, I'm taking him. <laughs> and Magic puts it on the floor, a couple head and shoulder fakes, and he raised up in the air. And there was nobody that was going to get that shot. Down by one, Shout with out two Magic. seconds on the clock, hey, Larry door, Bird and door. the Celtics find themselves in a situation they've been in many times before. Johnson on the inbound. My apologies if y'all heard my kids, y'all. I didn't even know they was back there. My apologies, y'all. Bird fires it. Freeze. What do you think happened? Now let's give this shot this. some context. For two years straight, the Boston Celtics had the greatest home court advantage of all time. The prior year, in 1986, the Celtics finished with a regular season record of 40 and 1. Bro. This record still stands as the best regular season home record ever. Damn. Yes, better than Michael Jordan's 96 Bulls and better than Steph Curry's 2016 or 2017 Golden State Warriors. Damn. And if you include the playoffs, <clears throat> they were 50 and 1 at home. Come on, man. How so for everyone who thinks the 96 Bulls and the 2017 Warriors are the two best teams of all time at home, Larry Bird's I ain't gonna lie, that picture was hard though. 1986 oh, Celtics oh. were better. Let that <laughs> sink in. Someone asked me the other day, they said it's the toughest arena you had to play in. And I said, uh, Garden, Boston. I said, they were almost impossible to go in there and beat because you could not make a mistake with them. Those mm. guys made you play, and it was him. Like, he was like, a, he was a savant on the court. Like, mm. just a savant. Like, Look two plays asses. ahead on everything. And Damn so, it, grabbing his jump. Please, let's not forget how hard it was to go into Boston and beat a team when Bird is in his prime. Unfortunately, mm. the Celtics fell off that following year in 1987. They were 39 and 2 at home. <laughs> Damn. So including the playoffs, for the last two years, the Celtics were 99 and 4 at the Boston Garden, up until that shot by Bird. This wow. means, statistically, there was a 96% chance that that potential game winning shot by Bird was going in. Now, what do you think happened? He went Well, they set up a great play. Bird walked Worthy all the way up, forced the denial all the way up. We've done it before. Clear everybody out, go to the ball, break to the corner. Max looking, looking, loops it to Bird. Two seconds left. In the Bird, he fires. He yes! Yeah. And the Celtics win! Yeah. Bird, a runner. It's good! Bro, they done ran that shit about 10, 15 times. Sit on the inbound. Bird fires it. He caught it here, and as he caught it, all he had to do was turn. He just turned, and he just let this thing go. Bird fires it. Got a wide open look. The fact that he didn't even have to set his feet. Most jump, most people got to set their feet to shoot, and if they're not, then it's this low likelihood of them making it. He never. Couldn't believe it. And I'm standing right there. It is straight as an arrow. Wait a minute, I thought he wet it. I thought he wet it the... Bro, I thought he wet it the time before. It must have been a different game. I'm tweaking. Matt Wiley and the Lakers dance off the court. They we're lucky because it was right on line. He looked at me like, how did you ever leave me that wide open? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Change the whole series. Every time I watch that shot, I still think it's going in. Yeah, me too. Larry thought it was going in. Make this your year by making Fitness Connection your gym. Because now for just $10. Magic thought it was going in. Pat Riley thought it was going in. <laughs> if Larry Bird took that exact same shot in that exact same situation 10 times, He'd probably hit nine of them. Damn. And if Larry Bird hits that shot, then the series is tied two to two. And with the next game at the Boston Garden, there's no way you can convince me that this Celtic team 
with the greatest home court advantage of all time, led by one of the most clutch players in NBA history, doesn't win that next home game. So instead of being down 3-2 to two, going back to LA and losing those NBA finals, mm. the Celtics would have been up 3-2. to two. And with all of that momentum on the Celtics side, all they needed to do was win one game in LA to give Larry Bird his fourth title, add another finals MVP to his collection, become the first team to win back-to-back titles since Bill Russell with the Celtics in the 60s, and Damn, silence all doubt on who won the Bird versus Magic rivalry. One shot could have... Y'all, comment right now. Who won the Bird and uh, Magic rivalry? Changed everything. And the conversation about the greatest player of all time would have been very different. Larry Bird at his best. LeBron James at his best. Oh, I gotta go with Larry Joe. I gotta go with Larry Joe. You take Larry Joe. Larry Joe uh, <laughs> for the win. When Reggie Miller said Damn. that, it was headline news the next That's day. Crazy. Because the media fawns over LeBron James more than ever. But to many Larry Legend truthers, it wasn't a surprise at all. Skip, Reggie would take Bird over LeBron. Do you concur, my friend? I do concur. In a hypothetical draft, would I take him over LeBron James to start my my franchise? Yes, I would. And, and I don't think it's even close. Now, you would think that Skip Bayless, as the ultimate contrarian, would be challenged by his co-host for such an opinion. Mm. However, this is one of the rare things that they 100% agreed on. That says it all, gang. That says it all. When, when they never agree, they always fight. And that's what they show. They fight. When they agree. You know, in terms of leadership, in terms of clutch, in terms of shooting ability, and overall championship credentials, not just trophies, but a mentality. Larry Bird gets the nod over LeBron James. I I'm guessing that right now about 80% of our viewing audience does not agree with either one of us. Well, that, that, all that means is that they don't know anybody. They don't know. I would love to pick LeBron, but in terms of clutch, money mm. time, there's no, there's no contest. He's not even in Larry Bird's class. All not right. even Damn. Close. It's not he even, even in the close. If you like stats... Here's Larry Bird versus LeBron James season stats. Age 30. While both are at the age of 30. Larry Bird averaged. That's how old I am, bro. And I'm out of shape like a motherfucker. <laughs> which is more points, more rebounds, more assists, and has a higher field goal percentage. So when someone asks you, what is Larry Bird better at than LeBron? You can say pretty everything. much everything. Hold on, is he ahead of Larry Bird? No. No! no. What was Bird better at? Bird's a better shooter. It's not close. Uh, I think Bird is okay, as, we, as good we, we, or better as a passer. We, a much more fluid, much more uh, natural passer than LeBron James. A creative passer. LeBron James, see, like, for a superstar, he's as good a passer as anyone outside of maybe Magic and Bird. Bird was a better passer. Do Bird's know a better rebounder. The fact is that Larry Bird didn't stay healthy. And the fact is that basketball is played so differently okay. now. When it comes down to the end of a game in a championship series, I would rather have Larry Bird have the basketball. Well, Guaranteed. duh. Is there any way on earth you would take LeBron James over Larry Bird in the clutch? <laughs> Dude, There's so no way on earth people. that I'd pick him over Larry Bird in the clutch. I can tell you that. That no-look pass was crazy. Much. Larry Bird was not just a superior shooter from anywhere on the court, just like you highlighted. Not only was he a near 90% shooter from the free throw line, which LeBron could never brag about. But when you talk about Damn. money time, whether it's a particular juncture in the season where you're trying to position yourself for the playoffs, or you're talking about the last minutes of a game, or you're talking about the last shot in a game, or you're talking about a game seven, or you're talking about anything that, that indicates clutch, you simply can't pick LeBron over Larry Bird because you can pick almost... I love that one when he makes that motherfucker fall. Almost no one in NBA history over Larry Bird. When it was money time, you knew where the ball was going, and you also knew there was little to nothing that you could do about it. It was just a matter of whether or not Larry Bird was going to make it or miss it. But even despite all of those numbers, to those who actually saw Larry Bird play, the eye test is all they need. 
I know no, there are other numbers easy. that will support you on LeBron. I may lose this, but you know what? <laughs> I'm going with these, all four of them. And I watched that dude dominate oh. an era that has Larry some of the greatest Gordon. players of all time playing. I, and this isn't a diss on LeBron. Hmm. I'm not dissing LeBron. I love LeBron. We both love LeBron. Everybody appreciates how great he was. But as time passes, it's easy to forget how great Larry Bird was. No, I, so yeah, all of that sure. said, right here, right now, mm -hmm. Larry Bird remains the greatest small forward ever, period, end of story. Is that it? Life can be risky. Switching to Optimum isn't. Yeah, that was the end of the video, y'all. Oh, man, y'all, comment right now, man. What what y'all think, man? They was... <laughs> they had the right idea. That's all I know, man. And with time, they right. With time, Larry Bird, Larry Bird does get forgotten, man, because all these different... Um, superstars coming and dominating and you know the 80s was 40 years ago you know what I'm saying like it was a long time ago bro and niggas like me that didn't know about Larry Bird because we wasn't raised on that we was raised on Jordan and niggas younger than me was raised on LeBron and niggas younger than them gonna be raised on somebody else and so on and so forth so you know it happens it happens Anyway, again, we're going to go ahead and count out this loose, man. If you're new, subscribe, like the video, comment some more bangers y'all want me to check out on my Larry Bird, King, Ping, King, Ching, Bring, Bling. Man, I'm tweaking. We go, man.